Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.29 Some look upon the soul as amazing, some speak of him as amazing, and some hear of him as amazing. Others, however, even after hearing about him, cannot understand him at all. Sar Ardavashini Shri Krishna is saying, O Arjuna, if you ask what this amazing subject is that I am speaking about, then listen. It is indeed a matter of wonder that even after receiving this knowledge, your wisdom has not been awakened. Your doubt is therefore appropriate. Only for this reason is this verse beginning with the word Ashtaryavat being spoken. This whole material world in the form of the combination of the body and the soul is indeed a wonder. Sāradavāshini Prakashikariti Since the truth about the science of the soul is very difficult to understand, the soul itself, the person who instructs about the soul, the instruction itself and the audience are all amazing. In other words, only some very rare great persons look upon the soul as amazing, and some very rare persons hear about the soul and accept him as amazing. It is even more amazing that most of the audience, even after hearing these instructions from one who knows the absolute truth, still cannot realize the soul. This is also explained in Katha Upanishad 1.2.7. The opportunity to hear instructions about the science of the self, Atma Tattva, is very rare. Even after hearing them, most cannot realize the instructions because a master who is self-realized is very rare. If, by great fortune, such a teacher is available, it is rare to find students who are able to understand this topic. For this reason, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has instructed everyone in this present age of Kali Yuga to perform the congregational chanting of the holy names of Sri Krishna, Sri Harinam Sankirtan. If even faithless persons chant the name of Sri Hari, while they are talking, walking, sitting, standing, eating, drinking, crying, laughing, or in any other way, they will still benefit from it. Gradually, they will attain the association of pure devotees. By such association, they can even attain pure love for Bhagavan. And as a secondary result, they easily attain knowledge on the signs of the soul. Hari Bhakti Vilas 11.234 The holy name of Krishna is the sweetest of the sweet and the most auspicious of all that is auspicious. It is the fully ripened fruit of the flourishing creeper of the Vedas and it is the embodiment of transcendental knowledge. O best of the Brigo dynasty, even if someone chants the holy name only once, with fate or indifference, he is immediately delivered from this ocean of birth and death. Srimad Bhagavatam 6.2.14 One who chants the holy name of the Lord is immediately freed from the reactions of unlimited sins, even if he chants indirectly, to indicate something else, chokingly, for musical entertainment, or even neglectfully. This is accepted by all learned scholars of the scriptures. <laughs>